Good evening. Welcome. We're making dinner and it's whatever the heck you want for dinner night. Jonah has had a bowl of cereal and now he's having leftover ravioli and he still wants me to make him an Egg McMuffin. We're doing Egg McMuffins for dinner. So, um, I'm working on two Egg McMuffins right now. I have muffins in the toaster. I am frying up two eggs and then we're gonna hit it with a piece of ham and some cheese. We're gonna heat up some bacon and uh, slap those together and just voila, enjoy. All right, ooh, I gotta be careful. I don't want that yolk to break. Now, when I was in high school, we'd go to my friend Kristen's house, she's actually my cousin, and we would make these, but we would call them cholesterol sandwiches. We would put a piece of bologna and the cheese and we call them cholesterol sandwiches. They're just so good. Thank you so much. So I went to Sam's Club today, so I've got more things to put away. So when the English muffins come out of the toaster all nice and hot, I hit it with some butter. Because butter is the bomb. All right, love this bacon. So easy, so fast. This has been my go-to since like Hawaii. I love it. So all you have to do is heat it in the microwave literally for like 30 seconds and bam, because it's all cooked. Yeah, definitely not. house what's it like over there a freaking circus that's what it is and I'm the main ringleader can you see this delicious goodness and it has bacon mm -hmm. yum yum okay children I got your dinner all right time to make three more <laughs> butter out of the fridge which means it's now the toast butter if I'm gonna be doing it like this so nothing we don't use anything else but the toast hello hello it is now 11 o'clock I got done uploading the vlog at 9:30. I washed the dishes while doing an Instagram live with you guys. And now I'm making a cup of hot chocolate. But what I'm doing though is I was gonna go to bed and I wanted to get a little head start on tomorrow finishing up decorating for Halloween. And I am decorating, I can't help it. Ooh, I got all these awesome ideas that came to my head. See, this is what happens like I'll get tired and then I'll get an idea and then I, it wakes me up and I get excited and I want to start on it. This happens to me all the time. So, and this lighting is horrible. All right, but, so I'm making a nice hot cup of hot chocolate because I am freezing and I am decorating my home for Halloween. I can't wait to show you when I'm all done. Hello? Hey baby. So, I totally forgot that the furnace and AC guy was coming this morning. Well, that sucks. I love you. Bye. Love you, bye. This is what happens when you don't look at your planner the night before and the morning of. 
I am in a muumu and a sweater. You just gotta roll with it. It's like, what, what can I do? I'm just gonna keep plugging along like I was doing. So I'm gonna go get the bins out of the garage and um, put away all the normal decor and the more of the harvest decor until after Halloween. And I'm just gonna keep moving forward. There's nothing I can do. I gave him something to talk about this morning. This woman met me at the door in a muumuu. Yeah, she did. She met you real good at the door in a muumuu. So, there's nothing I could do about it. I am freezing today. Oh my gosh. I am so cold. I am, my body runs cold anyway, but today I am freezing. Oh, I forgot the thing of why I came in the car. Jonah's knee is kind of bugging him today, so he called and asked if I could bring him his knee brace, so okie dokie. Oh, and it's garbage day, and again, I went out and put the garbage in my muumuu because whoever has that zone did not put the garbage out. All right, this one is the broken one. <laughs> He's like naming all these different ones. I'm like, I was in your room, I was in your bucket, and I didn't see any of those. So I'm gonna go look again. His knee's really bugging him. Let's see what I could do, poor kid. All right, attempt number two. All right, we'll see if any of these work. He needs his big one, but I cannot find it. So those sound like the small ones he was talking about, so. All right, here we go. One of those worked, woohoo! Now back to the grind. All right, I'm making a pit stop with my friend and we're going to the DI, which is like a Goodwill. And de-junking our life. Feels good. Now we just drop off and then we turn the car around and go back inside. Yes. Exactly. You are not gonna believe this. I don't like being in drive throughs where I'm trapped. Like I just, like if there's a double, I, I don't. So we're at Chick-fil-A and the left lane, they have two lanes. The left lane is like cruising, cruising. This lane is not moving. Um, and we've both been sitting for like over five minutes and this lane is just cruising. So I'm like, what is going on? So I called, <laughs> I called into Chick-fil-A and I said, we're in the right lane, it's not moving. The other lane's flying, why? And he goes, the, the girl was so sweet. She goes, I'm so sorry, but that maroon car the person on the speaker to hold on while she finished her phone call. <laughs> I can't. Who freaking does that? Who does that? And I'm like, you're kidding. She goes, no, I'm not. I'm so sorry. I'm like, can you please make sure the manager or somebody, I know you guys are like all super nice and sweet all the time, but like, can someone please say something to this woman at the window? Holy, like, rage just like in me. And I don't like being trapped in drive throughs. I just don't. Well, all these people are on a time crunch, too. Yeah, we, I gotta be home. And I'm like looking at the clock, like, because we're like, oh, we'll make this quick. We'll go through Chick fil A drive through. So, listen. If you got a phone call, don't go through the drive-thru. Park it and finish talking, then go through the drive-thru. Or just pause, I'm sure whoever is on yes, the phone. Seriously, how long is it gonna take you to say I want a number four with a Coke? Like, that took me like two seconds? Mm -hmm. Not cool, not cool. One of your questions was, how long did it take you to find your homemaking mojo? I've always loved the idea of homemaking and being a housewife. I would say I was probably starting to really get into it and getting my mojo probably when uh, Jonah was born. 
Um, and then we moved into this house. And so I would have to say, once we moved into this house, so like 12 years ago, I felt like I was really get a, getting you know, a hang of things. I was learning, I'm still learning a ton of things. And then I have to say when I found the fly lady, when, um, what, after Boston was born, like three months after he was born, and that helped me pull out of like postpartum. So yeah, and I love it, I really do. I enjoy it. I know it's not for everybody, but it's really where I'm my happiest. Can you talk about how you work through your anxi anxiety? Are you on meds? But I was on natural medicine for a long while and it was working, but it just, still it was hard. My anxiety can really shut me down. So I just thought, you know, it was getting worse knowing that Callie was leaving, you know, <laughs> a child leaving the nest. And so I finally I was like, I need to go get on something. I went and talked to my doctor and they know that, my doctors know like, I don't like being on prescription meds. They just, my body does not respond well. I've been on medicines before. I've been on like antidepressants when I had postpartum with Boston and they just made me like a zombie. I couldn't do anything. So I, I talked to my doctor for a long time and finally I decided to make the decision to go on Lexapro because um, it has amazing results for anxiety. And so, um, yeah. And I'll tell you what, it kicked in really fast. It has been the best thing for my anxiety. I have no more rapid heartbeat, you guys. Um, I don't get paralyzed. I don't um, have the rapid thoughts and it's incredible. Because I thought of like getting on something that I could take right when I feel it, but I am so tired of living day to day with anxiety. It, it's been hard, especially growing a business, growing she's in her apron and you know, having teenagers and one leaving the nest and you know, I, I just was like, I can't do this anymore. And finally I got on Lexapro in May and it has been the best thing I could have done for me. So I am not against prescription drugs. I just know how my body is and there's some things I just can't take. And this has been a big blessing and I'm so thankful that it's working. So talk to your doctor. There might be something you can take when it, you feel it or there might be something that you could take every day. But talk to your doctor. I'm very glad that this is working for me. Um, it's been the biggest blessing. Oh my gosh, these last few months without feeling that in my chest has been wonderful. I mean, you guys, it got to the point where it was hard to sit in church. I would have major anxiety attacks in church. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's like a safe place for me. But it was getting it was getting bad where I would like, going, even going to the grocery store was hard. So talk to your doctor if you're having anxiety. And my heart goes out to all of you that are dealing with it. Seriously, big hugs from me to you.